Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at a problem that involves cubic equations and we're going to be using the factor theorem and the remainder theorem to solve it. f of x is equal to x cubed plus px squared minus 4x plus q and has a factor of x plus 3 and when it is divided by x minus 1 there is a remainder of 4. So that means that f of minus 3 is 0 because x plus 3 is a factor. Sorry, because x plus 3 is a factor. And f of 1 must be equal to 4 because when we divide x minus 1, f of x by x minus 1, we get 4, and that's what that means. So that's the factor theorem in play, and that's the remainder theorem. So when we substitute minus 3, we should get 0. So we get minus 3 cubed plus p lots of minus 3 squared, take away 4 lots of minus 3, plus q is 0. Therefore, we have minus 27 plus 9p plus 12 plus q is 0. So we get 9p plus q minus 27 plus 12 is uh, minus 15. So we can add 15 to both sides and we get 9p plus q is 15. From f of 1 is 4, if we find out what f of 1 is, um, that is 1 cubed plus p lots of 1 squared, take away 4 lots of 1 plus q equals 4. So 1 plus p minus 4 plus q is 4. So p plus q must be equal to 7. So 1 take away 4 is minus 3, add 3 to both sides. So now what you have are two equations, 1 and 2. Two equations, two unknowns, that, so that must be simultaneous equations. So what we can do is we can do, without any manipulation at all, just have equation 1 take away equation 2. 9p take away p is 8p. q take away q is 0. 15 take away 7 is 8. So p is 1. And then if you substitute p as 1 into equation 2, we have 1 plus q is 7, so q equals 6. And so we have our two values of p and q. So the original equation is actually x cubed plus x squared minus 4x plus 6. And that's how the factor theorem and remainder theorem can be used to, to arrive at two simultaneous equations that you then need to solve.